Hi everyone, today I have a quick slider plank challenge for you that's gonna take you seven minutes to complete in total. For equipment, you're gonna need two sliders, one for each foot. If you don't have sliders, you can use dish towels. That's what I'm gonna to use today. Um, if you have carpets, get creative. DVD covers work, um, so do overturned frisbees, which sounds weird, but get creative. As long as you can slide your feet across the floor, you can do this workout. This workout is broken up into two three-minute long pushes. During each three-minute push, you're gonna build three separate combos. A combo will be 15 seconds of movement A, 30 seconds of movement A plus movement B, and then 15 seconds of movement B. You do three of those with no break in between, so you're continuously moving for three minutes straight. We'll then rest for 60 seconds, give our shoulders a break, and then we will repeat it on the other side. And if that sounds at all confusing, don't worry. I'm gonna give you a preview of the whole sequence before we get going. As for modifications, your best way to modify this is going to be to take breaks after each combo. So you do 60 seconds, then pause the video, break as needed, do the next 60 seconds, pause the video, and then the final 60 seconds. As you repeat this workout and get stronger, maybe you try to do the first two minutes continuous without breaking, gradually building up to that continuous three minute long push. As with all workouts, you wanna make sure you're properly warmed up beforehand and always listen to your body, modifying or stopping as needed. If you're new to my channel, I don't play music in the background because I want you to be able to listen to whatever you like. So you might wanna get a playlist queued up. And with all that said, let's get to a preview of the sequence and then we'll get going. We have our feet on sliders. Each foot needs a different slider or a dish towel if that's what you're using. And we're gonna start in a high plank position. Uh, to avoid conf confusion, I want you to start on your left side. It's gonna be your left, my right. And it'll make sense because when I go to a side plank, then I'll be mirroring you. So just listen to my verbal cues. All right, let's make our way to high plank position. Hands stacked under shoulders, and I want you to engage your shoulder blades, slide them down your spine, slightly sore, broad across the collarbones. We're gonna start by taking our left knee across to the right elbow, and then you will cross it in front of your right leg. So left knee, right elbow, cross it in front, reverse the motion back to your plank. Cross, cross, bring it back. We're here for 15 seconds, and then we will combo this with a twisted knee tuck. All right, now next time you cross that left foot in front of right, both knees bend in towards your right elbow, straighten them out, and then go into that kind of sliding crossbody mountain climber. So one twisted knee tuck with the legs crossed, and then your left knee moves back in. You got 15 more seconds to go here. When you bend the knees in and out, make sure your hips are staying at shoulder height. We're gonna finish by just doing that cross knee tuck. Okay, keep those legs crossed, knees bend in towards your right elbow, straighten them out. We'll come to a side plank next, your left form will come down towards the floor. Okay, we're going to find a side plank and this time I want you to switch the cross so your right foot is in front of left, left forearm is down, and we're just pulsing our hips up and down to start. We will add in a side knee tuck, and when we do, you can bring this top hand to the floor. Knees bend in, keep your hips at shoulder height. Straighten those legs out, give me two pulses. This is a shoulder exercise as well, so don't get frustrated if that left shoulder starts burning out on you. All right, 
final 15 seconds, it's just that knee tuck in and out. Keep your hips up at shoulder height. We'll center off our plank next. Oh, all right, we got a dolphin pike. So come to your forearms, and from here you're gonna pike your hips up, and you're gonna lower them down. If you have tight shoulders, you can do this on straight arms instead. All right, let's add in a body saw. So when your hips are at shoulder height, whole body saws back, whole body saws forward, pike it up, lower it down. Neither the pike nor the saw needs to be really big, okay? All right, we finish with just the saw. Knit the ribs together. Shift your shoulders back an inch or two, forward an inch or two. Neck is long. Whew, and done. Okay, you have 60 seconds to rest, and then we gotta do that all on the other side. Okay, second side can be a little more challenging because we're a little more fatigued. We've already done this once, but I want you to sort of use your first side as the bar you set for yourself and you're competing with that performance. So as best as we can, we're gonna match what we did on the first side. Remember, it's going to be your right. So let's make our way into a high plank position. Again, slide the shoulder blades down your spine slightly so we're really broad across the collarbones. It's going to be right knee across to your left elbow and then you'll cross that right foot in front of left. Right knee into left elbow, step it back, reverse it. Okay, and we're going to add in that twisted knee tuck. So next time the right foot comes in front of the left, you're going to bend both knees in towards that left elbow, send it back here for 30. It is not about how many reps you get in. I want controlled movement and continuous movement. Okay, it's just the twisted knee tuck, 15 seconds here. Side plank coming up next, your right form will come down. All right, right forearm comes down, left foot is in front of right. We're gonna start with just those hip pulses. Up and down, so no movement of the sliders. When we add in that knee tuck, top hand comes to the floor for support. Bend those knees in, Oop, my sliders are getting away from me. Straighten those legs out, two hip pulses. Take out the pulses, it's just that knee tuck. 15 seconds here. We'll center off coming to that forearm plank or high plank if you prefer. Oh, last minute of work. We have that pike. So elbows down, keeping the legs straight and the heels high, you pike your hips up and lower them down. Now when you do the pike, try not to dump your shoulders too far forward into your fist. They stay over your elbows as best as you can. All right, let's add in that little saw. Oop, not enough space. One pike, one saw. When you do the saw, try to get your hips to shoulder height. I noticed on the first side, mine were a little piked up. I'll try not to do it here, but I don't have a mirror. You have under 30 seconds left in this whole challenge. We got this. Oh, man. 
All right, just the saw, final 15 seconds. Neck is long. Knit the ribs together. Oh, done. Woo, that was hard. All right, awesome work. Hope you enjoyed that workout. If you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new workouts here every Monday. I'll see you next week.